We know as adults that if things are too easy for us, we rarely get motivated. And if our brains don't have to do much work, then we don't learn or remember anything. The same therefore goes for the level of difficulty in your own child's learning. By getting your child to make learning harder for themselves, they're creating exactly the right conditions in which to remember something. We call this a desirable difficulty. Making something desirably difficult. Not too hard, not too easy, but with just the right amount of difficulty to make sure they're being effective with their study time. It's a bit like the Goldilocks effect, where Goldilocks found the bowl of porridge that was just the right temperature. The same goes for the level of difficulty that your child imposes on themselves during independent study at home. If it's too easy because they've just been learning it and it's in their short-term memory, then their brain doesn't have to do any work at all. If it's too hard because they haven't been regularly reviewing this topic by returning to it at regular intervals, then they get demotivated because they can't remember anything and it makes them feel like a failure. But when they get the balance just right and quiz themselves on a topic that they've given themselves time to almost forget, then this is when they begin to create a lasting memory of something.